Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com. Scorpio, this one's for you. It's a timeless reading. Whenever you get into this video is good. You've come across it for a reason. So let's get you some guidance out. Now, Scorpio, I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. In there, I give one question readings. Now, you can book in for one of those one question readings on my website at any time. There's a link in the description box below and also one up there too. I do all the pre-book readings right at the start of the next live show. Then send you the link to the replay so you don't need to come live if you don't want to. Alternatively, come live. You can find the next show laying in wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing down there. Click on set a reminder, come along live, you can book while I'm live too. I also have a private readings from my website, behealing.com, that I get out within 48 hours of your ordering them. you can find a link for that in the description box below and also on up there too. Now there are two ways in which to win one of those private readings with me, Scorpio, um, each month. Uh, the first way is by being a subscriber to my channel, clicking like on this video and leaving a comment that will get you one entry. And you can enter as many times as you like on my different videos throughout the month. Second way to win is by checking out my Pick a Card Love readings. If you purchase the Deeper Dive, then all of those purchases throughout the month will get you entries into the second prize draw. So good with, luck with winning those. So what's in the energies for you guys, Scorpio? around this time we've got beauty of age so you could be maturing um you could be growing up a bit that, that kind of sounds bad i don't mean it in a bad way i mean it's like leveling up maturing um becoming better at something becoming more beautiful perhaps self-acceptance and you know in other words we are happier in ourselves um so you could be like leveling up in that kind of a way in your like self-mastery scorpio You've got wild as well. <laughs> so, being wild, setting yourself free, re rewilding yourself as well. That's a big thing, isn't it? So many businesses call themselves rewilding, or is it just around here? But yeah, finding yourself again, accepting yourself, loving yourself, perhaps pursuing things, Scorpio, that you put on the back burner, that you were judging yourself for pursuing before, and you did so you didn't pursue it, perhaps. Perhaps you need to be your weird, weird self. Now, you have travel coming out here and optimism as well. So travel, it could be about, you know, going to those places that you've always wanted to go, even if it's a bit wild, even if it's... Um, there's definitely a feeling here of loving and accepting yourself and doing those things that you've always wanted to do, regardless of what anyone else wants or if you think it's frivolous or, you know, whatever you could have been however you could have been judging yourself in the past scorpion stopping yourself from doing those things you might just be throwing caution to the wind and just getting on with it life's too short optimistic be optimistic okay well let's get some tarot out for you and get deeper into these energies scorpio what does scorpio need to know please what does scorpio need to know Five of Pentacles, you might need to do something by yourself, Scorpio. Striking out by yourself, um, especially if it's something that you need to persist with as well. The Five of Pentacles is that like long, slow walk in the snow alone, but you know where you're heading. And even, even if you have to be alone, it's definitely worth doing it and not just falling back on those creature comforts. Um, yeah. It's all too tempting, Scorpio, just to, you know, not, go for our goals and just to seek comfort instead be entertained seek comfort instead of striking out and really going for something and you know putting our all into it you got the page of pentacles definitely the start of something here seed is planted it, it might be slow coming but i think you're moving towards something new scorpio you've got justice as well very nice so you could be getting you're like what is in karma for you in a good way you know what yeah you got the Hierophant and the Tower. Ooh. Scorpio. Okay. The Tower and the Hierophant means that you're going to get a spiritual lesson because of something that falls apart, breaks apart. You know, the Tower is when the universe kind of throws something in our face, but you will learn something from it. So let's find out what that is. Let's get deeper into all of this for you. So there's a there's a need for you to walk a path alone now and not go for the the comforts instead to kind of strike out it was the same card five of materials to strike out by yourself in the world yeah you know this could be about travel if you if for those of you that have been wanting to travel 
definitely do it you know even if you have to do it alone well especially if you've got to do it alone do it the world card could also signify like just new chapters in your life very significant turning point for you guys and like you're coming into your season now as well for your sun sign um Mm, I just wonder if there's some eclipses or anything like that. It just feels like a very pivotal time for you. You've got sexual energy behind that. It could really fire you up as well. And or you and or you could be meeting um, somebody on those travels. So the universe is urging you to go there. Now the travel card could mean like actually traveling and pack up your suitcase, you know, and and traveling, seeing places, meeting new people, all that kind of thing. But it could also signify like going new places. I mean, it sounds like the same thing. I don't mean the same thing. I mean like um, working at a new place or going to new places, um, like new, new, just like switching up your routine and doing different things, even if you have to not be with your usual people to do that. I'm just getting this picture if you're thinking like oh, this is reading really isn't for me because i'm not going traveling or anything like that but you know because i'm just like working and still going to the office every day well if you go always go to the same places for lunch with your friends you might want to break free of that you know just once in a while and go somewhere by yourself somewhere completely different especially if you've wanted to go somewhere and all your friends have said no let's not go there they've got a reason not to go there there's that need to like strike out by yourself and do different things anyway because you could be meeting someone when you're there page of pentacles got a seed is planted with the lovers i think there's somebody showing up in your life for those of you single scorpios i think someone is showing up and it feels like they're just like around the corner but you need to go to those new places or travel to that new place whatever has been in your mind like that you've wanted to do but there's only you that wants to do it you need to do that because you've got somebody there for you and a seed is planted it might not move ahead like super super fast with that page of pentacles but there are new beginnings you know you could just go somewhere meet someone have a fling with them for like a few days but it's the start of something it's the start of something a new beginning justice karma what is due to you what you deserve eight of voices and this comes from you feeling like you've been bound um, locked into place stagnant perhaps feeling like things haven't been changing and so something needs to change Scorpio and it's you that needs to change that you need to be the instigator of that change energy so Definitely for those of you who have been stuck in a rut, start going new places, doing different things. Just break out of that, you know, rut that you've been in. You've got divine timing for that as well. It's time for change for Scorpio. But what is this? The Hierophant and the Tower. So something falls apart or there's something random surprise. Not It's generally when the Tower comes out, it's generally not a good thing. Well, it leads to good things in the end, but it's kind of unwanted, jarring, that kind of thing. You'll get a spiritual lesson from it. What's this for Scorpio? Can we give them more details? Scorpio, please. The Four of Inspiration could be about marriage. It could be about anything that's got like solid foundations. Things that you thought had solid foundations could be falling apart so that you learn how to actually make solid foundations could be something like that anyway it's going to be different for all of you probably but whatever it is that you need to learn about starting things off right that's what's going to be falling apart so learn your lesson from that you're not being punished you're being shown shown how to how to do it better next time do it better next time once you know better you can do better the self-love behind that ah and back around to the start it's like you're leveling up yeah you're leveling up and loving yourself more and being yourself and then you get a spiritual lesson on top of it by something falling apart I mean, look scorpio you didn't set this out on solid foundations because the solid foundations start from within it starts by us loving ourselves and knowing ourselves and and, and being cool about being ourselves being true to ourselves so you're leveling up with respect to being true to yourself and yeah there's lessons with that too things will break apart from when you 
things that you instigated from when you weren't that energy but that's a good thing because you can do it better next time once you know better you do better okay what else what about love life Scorpio what have we got going on we've got a new lover here you've got somebody on the horizon for sure here there's a couple of signs of it in this reading well let's find out <coughs> friendship nurture those bonds of friendship now if you are traveling meet meet new people and all of that kind of thing nurture those friendships and look inside of yourself examine what's causing you to feel this way something about a rut that you've been in or patterns that you've been in Scorpio ask yourself why why you've been getting into that pattern why you persist doing that thing and if you think it's happening to you you know it's not happening to you you keep on choosing that same kind of a person and perhaps you're not realizing not conscious of how you're choosing that kind of a person or why you're closed alternatively step into your power and release controls there could be control issues to look at but you need to step into your power Scorpio start doing things your own way so you could be feeling a spark with somebody somebody mysterious but your heart is guarded so yeah I think it can be a very self-loving thing to have a guarded heart once we start protecting ourselves we will be a bit more guarded but a spark with someone mysterious that's like you know traditional tarot isn't it i've got my crystal ball you're going to meet somebody mysterious there'll be a spark between you what else scorpio's love life romance it's a call to be romantic be a little bit ro more romantic <laughs> and trust learning to trust someone I think you've got someone coming in and it's going to be in bite-sized pieces kind of thing you might have a short time with them re repeatedly I mean it might be slowed down by distance or something like that it's not slowed down for some reason but I think it's going to be good for you because you'll build up trust with this person so the universe might be slowing things down for you Scorpio learning to trust somebody what else have we got for Scorpio <coughs> What else have we got for Scorpio, please? You've got an older woman. What about this older woman? A parrot. She's going to gossip about you. Don't tell that old woman your secrets if you have already. I don't know. Don't trust that one. Old woman gossip there. You've got a leg. You're stepping into a new experience, Scorpio. And there's definitely a need to do that. Step into a new experience. And we've got a bell, an announcement. That is that page of pentacles ah so it could be an announcement yeah lovers somebody could be telling you how they feel about you a dolphin and a tankard the dolphin is financial gain usually coming from things you've done in the past and a tankard celebration fun enjoyment very nice well that is what i've got for you scorpia Scorpio Scorpio hope you enjoyed that thank you so much for watching don't forget to click like before you click off down there click that subscribe button if new and leave comment because that'll get you an entry into that prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month good luck with that I do a daily energy update every single day of the year I go live three times a week in my psychic cafe show um, I'd love to see you come along sometime I make three love picker card reads a week as well you can find one of those right there right now and I will just sporadically as often as I can do the star sign readings as well so check that out on my YouTube channel um, welcome if you're new and I'll see you next time bye